This is The American on ESPN+. Plus. A beautiful Sunday afternoon in Dallas, Texas. We close out the SMU Double Tree Invitational with the Mustangs hosting the LSU Tigers on David Miller Court at Moody Coliseum. Chris Mikoski alongside former Baylor and Wisconsin student athlete Chanel Bramschreiber. It doesn't always work out this way in a round robin event, but today we finish things up with a true championship. We do, and SMU remains undefeated at home so far, but it's going to be a big challenge for them because LSU is coming off of two straight sweeps, not letting Texas Tech even score 20 points last night. For LSU, Journey Robinson has been fantastic so far. Top 20 nationally in kills per set as a freshman, making an immediate impact. In yesterday's performance, she had 18 kills, hitting 552 with two blocks. She opened up the season earning SEC Honors Player of the Week. So as a freshman, she's already leading her team in extraordinary ways. We go from the LSU freshman to the SMU graduate student in Alex Glover. Limited action, but very effective when she's on the floor. Glover is such a tenured player. Last night, she hit 818 in five blocks. She's seeing more playing time than usual, but rightfully so. She's proving herself to be a staple in both SMU's offense and defense. Nice Shame on set point for SMU. Carmichael to Dotson. Clothier was there, but LSU has another chance. Demps can't put it to the floor. Cullen dumps it over to end the first set. SMU over the Tigers, 25 to 19. Yeah, you got to know on a tight pass with Cullen up front, she needs to be a priority for those LSU blockers. The middle blocker needs to be up challenging it, and she can leave Demps one-on-one -on, -one on the pin, but somebody at least has to go up and challenge Cullen on a ball like that. Mustangs take the first set over the Tigers. It's the championship of the Double Tree Invitational. 2-0 SMU and 2-0 LSU for the title. That's nine digs for Uluave so far. Five assists. Trying to close it out at the service line. Can't do it. Short. Ending a 3 0 Mustang run. That's about the max that we've seen from either team today. It seems any time it gets to a 3 0 run for the Tigers or the Mustangs, it comes to a close. Right, it's tough. I mean, getting three points in a row at the collegiate level is a hard thing to do. So when you do, you got to take advantage and try not to end it by making your own error. There's Nia Shamay knocking it down to close out set number two. The Mustangs over the Tigers, 25 to 20, to go up two sets. To none. I love it right here. You have a pass pulling Colin to the other side of the north set, other side of the court. She redirects it all the way to Shimei, leaving her so much space at the net. They can't get a touch on it, and she shoves it straight down for set two. 25 19 and 25 20 for the Mustangs over the Tigers here on day three of the Double Tree Invitational. The Mustangs looking to close out a weekend championship. Her seventh kill on the day. That's 105 for her on the young season. Powering through that block right there, and that was a part of the game plan. Let's make LSU's middles lay to the pin, make them as small as possible, because they know that they're very big. So let's make them late, beat them through the seam. Match points for the Mustangs. Purdue unable to close it out. Cullen. To Purdue. Can't end it. Goes wide. Side out Tigers. The Tigers relief, but SMU looking at each other just with soft smiles because they're not mad at that swing. It was such a powerful swing coming from Purdue. Looking to end the match right here with a sweep tonight, but number two in purple is going back and trying to keep the Tigers alive right now. It's Paige Flickinger at the service line. Her team trailing by seven. Purdue can't put it to the floor. But it's Glover. And Shemay putting up a wall to end this one. The Mustangs go unbeaten on the weekend, knocking off Texas Tech 
Texas A&M Corpus Christi and LSU to win the Doubletree Invitational. I mean, they're setting up on their biggest hitter right now, knowing her power is cross court. They're getting there on time. Hands are high pressed over the net. They're going to shut her down. They know that that is the LSU's go to option right now. Let's make a stamp and get a sweep tonight. The Mustangs remain undefeated at Moody Coliseum, sweeping the Tigers. Next up is conference play, and SMU will go into it on a high note. We'll talk to the player of the game and have final highlights and stats next on ESPN+. Plus. SMU sweeps LSU to close out the Double Tree Invitational 25-19, 25-20, and 25-17 over the Tigers. This is the American on ESPN Plus in our player of the game presented by Simmons Bank. Fierce is forever. Simmons Bank, proud sponsor of Evan SMU Women's Athletics member. FDIC, our player of the game, Celia Cullen, the senior setter from Brighton, Michigan. And one of the first things Coach Erger told me about you is that she was in a cage match. She wanted you at her side. That fight that you have to have every day to play that position, I know it means a lot to come out with that fierce nature. Yeah, I mean, I think everyone really brought it today. We've been fighting for consistency every match over this weekend. And I think today we were just really consistent over all three matches, energy, playing-wise. You know, people have great games, and I think today it was just awesome consistency all around. And over the weekend, picked up a couple of victories Friday and Saturday, but Coach Erger admitted to us in pregame she didn't feel like SMU was playing at its best. Today, really at a different stand. Yeah, for sure. I think we really brought it today. Like I said, consistency-wise, I really didn't think um, we were super consistent over the other games this weekend. That's probably why she was a little upset. I know that's why she was upset. Um, so we really focused on that today and really tried to bring that every single match. And I think that's what really helped. Yeah, talk to us about your setter distribution right now. You have hitters, your pin hitters hitting 500 and then middles like Alex Clover also. You got Emma Clothier. So what is it like to have such talent at the net all the time? And then you yourself are an offensive weapon too. So making the choices must be difficult just because you have so many people to choose from. Yeah, I mean, it's awesome. I'm, I'm so lucky to be on a team with this many amazing hitters. I mean, like you said, they're just incredible. And it's so easy to play with them because they – fix things that I might mess up and you know and they're just awesome people to play with and awesome players so it's great 29 assists to lead SMU today to a sweep over the Tigers our player of the game Celia Cullen the transfer from Michigan State Mustangs back here in Moody Coliseum on Wednesday to open up American Athletic Conference play against Memphis for Chanel Bramschreiber and our entire team behind the scenes, led by Mike Watts, my name's Chris Mykoski. All games airing on the ESPN networks are live and archived on the ESPN app. This has been a presentation of the American Athletic Conference and ESPN.